Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Net from Nest Tech, but today, oh, I want to talk about this awesome program. I love it so much. I have so many old computers. So many old systems get brought to me that uh, older individuals have crazy problems with, and they really should just get a new computer, but they hate computers, and they're too freaking lazy, and I can't get them onto a, uh, a tablet or anything like that. So, got to keep these old systems going, man. I've tried this program past mark burning test on over 500 computers and uh, it's it's pretty rare that i actually get an issue and usually if i get an issue then it means the system has to be replaced flat out but i want to show you this program that i use to uh, test systems to see how good they are uh, past mark burning test uh, we can test cpu optical drive um, 2d graphics 3d graphics disc sound printer memory network video playback and a Bluetooth. So you get your old systems. Sometimes there's silly things wrong with them. And this can give you an idea how to zero in on them. Uh, really though, unfortunately, most of the time when I get to that point and I figure out what's wrong with it, it turns out to be something that I can't even fix anyways because it's, uh, it's board level repair. And by this point, a lot of the systems you're running this on anyways, you might as well just go out and buy a new one, right? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, here we can decide if we want to run. I'm not going to do an optical disc. I don't have an optical disc. Who has an optical disc? Not worried about the printer. Yeah, let's run the Bluetooth. So we come up here and we hit go. And you want to turn your volume down because, uh, actually, let me take care of that sound. I'm just going to take that sound out there because otherwise it makes a lot of noise. And we'll hit, uh, we'll hit go and we'll go with that. Just our series of tests. Design and test reliability of your hardware to avoid data loss issues. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is basically a burn-in test, a stress test to see how much your computer can take and if it can take all the basic tests that make a computer a worthwhile endeavor that make a computer a computer so if i had the volume on right now i'd be like brum 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 over and over again oh i got a little video playing over here that pass mark uh oh two errors already i don't like the sound of that so right now i'm playing on a lenovo Jeez, what is this, a T-Series? A Lenovo E570. So it's not the best. It's meant to be Lenovo and cheap, right? Uh-oh, two errors. Where am I seeing those errors? I don't know where those errors are just yet. You can see... Okay, errors. I got zero errors. Where are my errors? Um... Remote device. I'm not seeing where these errors are. I'm sure it's right in front of me and I, other people watching it can see. But if you have an old computer, I definitely recommend that you check this out. I'm just going to hit pause until this is all done. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the test is up and it looks like all of my Bluetooth issues, or all the errors were within Bluetooth, and the issue was that nothing was actually attached to it. Um, we can make it bigger by clicking that button, and clicking the back button. So yeah, this button here will like full screen it. I guess we're going for a Windows within Windows kind of look here. All kinds of operations. But yeah, if you're the type of individual that deals with a lot of older, slower computers, or if you ever have a really specific crazy problem, um, if you have a really specific crazy problem, you can use this to diagnose the issue and at least uh, say, hey, this is what's wrong with it. I need to get a new one. Because usually if something on this goes bad, unless it's the RAM, maybe it's the C drive or the CPU, like a lot of the time, the craziest problems are the motherboard. And uh, if something goes wrong in the motherboard, you just have to replace the whole thing more or less. Um, but yeah, if you have a problem with your RAM, your CPU, if you have problems with those things, usually your computer won't even turn on. But uh, I digress. This is a good free way to test the hardware on your system. Anyways, that's it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Net from Nev's Tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like me. Really appreciate it. And um, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.